Hey everyone, good morning, good morning, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Happy uh, Wednesday to you and welcome to Coach Miranda Miner's Crypto News Fundamentals Technical Charting Trader Quotient in 45 minutes. No, So our topic for today is about ransomware. No, Attacked, $70 million attacked. What are the things that you should know as a cryptocurrency trader? No, So Coach Miranda Miner has been teaching all around about how to trade correctly, how to manage our emotions, how to manage our trader traders' quotient, how to look into all different types of fundamentals. But sometimes we also need to be aware of what is our surroundings. Kailangan malaman din natin na ang ating bang surroundings ay safe. Ito bang ating surroundings is something na kailangan natin you know, we need to be aware of because we are actually managing our money, our hard-earned money. And that's the reason why, you know, one of the headlines that actually did hit the news for the past couple of weeks was about this particular ransomware. No? What is this ransomware and what is this all about? So, all right, let's go right dive in. In fact, you're actually new to my channel. Welcome to our channel today. Magandang gabi sa'yo. And if you're new, please click on subscribe and like our live today para you are updated for everything about crypto, currency in the next 45 minutes. Gawin mo na akong iyong nightly news. No? Mabilis lang to, 45 minutes. And I'll make sure this is going to be a very fruitful information time for you over the next 45 minutes. All right, so ransomware. Ano ba yung ransomware na yun, no? By definition, by definition, ransomware is obviously a, a way wherein you, you know, um, lock the data of a particular computer for release in exchange of information or in exchange of money. No, kung baga hinahack mo ang isang particular data or computer data and you're going to lock the information for release of, you know, for, for uh, in exchange of money. In this case, this is obviously the Kaseya ransomware issue. Sabi dito, the Russian-based ransomware group is now demanding Bitcoin in exchange for the decryptor for the infected machines. Now, basically, on a very, very high level, let's just quickly discuss. And Coach Miranda Miner will actually share with you ano ba itong information na ito. No? So basically, itong uh, ransomware na to, may mga tinatawag tayong ransomware as a service. Ginawa na nilang service, no? And obviously, itong most recent na ginawa nilang problema, this was actually a, 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 a potential bypass na nakita nila or loophole in the system wherein uh, there was an authentication bypass. Ginamit siya ng ransomware group na yan. And uh, based on what they did, um, they found actually a, a potential loophole in the system at sila ay gumawa ng uh, bypass doon sa authentication na yon, and then they were able to enter the system no 60 customers were impacted 1500 businesses were affected downstreams no kasi ang kaseya is actually um a business that actually uh service other services other customers no so let's let's go further sabi dito saturday the revel yung revel r e v i l sabi nila had targeted the software supplier kaseya and its own network management package to spread the ransomware via the cloud so hindi lang nila hinak, no? Ang ginawa nila, naglagay sila ng <clears throat> ng fake update, no, in the system na binaba ng kaseya sa lahat ng mga customers nito. So downstream almost 1500 customers. And then sabi dito, the Russian the Russian based ransomware group is now demanding the Bitcoin for a uh, Bitcoin in exchange for a decryptor for the infected machine. So ginawa, gumawa, humingi sila ng Bitcoin, guys. Ginawa na nilang pangbayad ang Bitcoin. Okay? Sabi dito, on Friday, they launched an attack on managed services provider, a post from the dark website Happy Blog Reads. No? More than a million systems that were updated. Okay? In May, tatandaan ninyo in May, yung Revel na yan, nag-attack din ng Colonial Pipeline and they managed to get, they were able to, uh, they're able to get 5 million ransom after its functionality and services were restricted, sparking a gas crisis in the States. Malaki yan. Malaki, hindi huminto yung mga gas um, suppliers because they actually hacked the colonial pipeline. Nabalitaan natin yun, no? Another one, JBS Holdings, the world's largest meat company by sales, also paid $11 million ransom in May 30 attack against its same group. So talagang uma-attack sila, no guys? No? 
So during a Friday public appearance, sabi nila, President Joe Biden said he ordered the U.S. intelligence agencies to investigate the attack and he would like to make sure they're actually taking measures if, if Russia was behind it. So medyo may political lens na yung nangyari dito. No? So it's very, very technical. It's very, very technical. And why is it something that is a headline? Obviously, obviously, bukod sa humihingi ng 70 million worth of Bitcoin ito mga itong mga <clears throat> ransom suspects na to, I think meron silang business mindset, no? Because pag nakuha nila yung 70 million worth of Bitcoin, maybe bullish na yan by July, magiging doble na. Pag nag-bullish na yan on July, magiging doble na yung Bitcoin nila in terms of value. So, medyo mautak tong <clears throat> rebel strikes na to, no? Medyo mautak sila kasi eh, they're going to ask for a Bitcoin that's actually appreciating. And, you know, there's no better time to ask for a Bitcoin during the bear, but not other than the bear market. No other time to ask for a Bitcoin kung kailan siya mababa. So kailangan bibilangin, magbibig, magbibigay dyan ng, ng Bitcoin. Kailangan bibilangin ko dapat ang aking exchange rate is 33,000 USDT ba or kailangan 40,000 USDT. So kailangan, kailangan piliin niya yun, di ba? So medyo... Medyo may funny side tong uh, itong uh, nangyaring news na to no. So so what is it for you? What is it for us no? Sa group natin, what is it for the Coach Miranda mining community? What's in it for us? What are the things that we need to be aware or prepared for no? That's something we all need to discuss today and Coach Miranda Miner has actually prepared couple of reminders para sa yon no. Sa pamamagitan ng ating program, I'd like to remind you of the uh, uh, a lot of different things that you could actually use for information security. Okay? Information security. Mahalaga yan, no? Because pera mo yan, wallet mo yan, you know? Number one, guys, atandaan mo. Phishing at may tinatawag tayong whaling, no? Ang phishing is an individual way of getting information one by one. No? Ano yung mga example na yan, guys? No? Ano yung mga sample ng phishing emails, no? Sila yung manghihingi ng information mo, kunwari galing sa banko, nakalagay BDO, kunwari nakalagay, tas nakatago. When you click on the from field, ito pala ay hindi galing sa BDO, mukha lang siyang, mukha lang siyang BDO. No? Mukha lang siyang BDO. No? You need to be aware of that. No? You need to be very careful. Do not give your Binance ID. Wala pong manghihingi ng iyong Binance ID. Sino po sila para humingi ng Binance ID mo? Okay, sino po sila para humingi ng Binance ID mo at humingi ng password mo? So you need to be very careful. Always read the email address. Ano ba yung intention niya? Ba't siya hihingi ng account number mo? Bakit siya hihingi ng password mo? Ano naman ang whaling, no? Ang whaling naman is another process kung saan ito naman yung mga malalaking executives na tina-target nila, no? Yung mga you know, CTOs, Chief Technology Officers, at kung ano-ano pang mga klase ng executives na pwedeng kumuha ng information na medyo malaki, no? medyo malaki ang impact. For example, for example, isang Chief Financial Officer na nag approve ng $100 million na salary. No? So pag hinap niyo yung kanyang system, no, pwede siyang gumawa ng isang malaking-malaking impact sa business. No, isang malaking malaking impact sa business. So, iyan ang dalawang klase, no? Dalawang klase of trying to get an information which is phishing or whaling. Okay, in in Binance, tandaan mo to, in Binance, they actually have created a way para malaman mo na totoo talaga na Binance yung nag-e-email sa When you click your email, uh when you set up your email, you will be asked to set up your phishing password. Okay, phishing, a uh, unique word. Okay? So si ang hihingiin sa iyan ni ni Binance, ilalagay mo yan. For example, lagay natin is Miranda, for example, ha? <clears throat> ang iyong phishing word, no. Ayun, si Binance magi-email yan sa iyo, nakalagay diyan sa email niya sa taas. You will see there anti phishing. Anti phishing. And then sasabihin niya sa iyo ito yung nominate mong password. Okay? So that means that Binance, it's a legitimate email because alam niya ano yung nominate mong password to prevent phishing. Alam niya that the password is going to be your identifier that the, um, that the, that the email is a legitimate email. 
Okay, it's a legitimate email. All right. Okay. Let's let's go to the next one. Two-factor authentication. Bakit mo kailangan magmatuto ng two-factor authentication? No. Marami tayong um, ways to log in, no. In our email, in our uh, our, our social media platforms, no. We have so many ways to uh, to log in, and most of that, most of the time, it's actually using our email address. But what happens if someone, right, right, hacks your email address? What happens, no? Of course, if you're using only one email address, na para maglog in sa lahat ng mga social media credentials mo, eh di lahat na hack na, no? So it's important to munta ka sa yung Yahoo, sa yung Google, at magsarap ka ng two-factor authentication. Ba pa ano yan? Even on your Binance, guys, ha? Magwi-withdraw kayo dapat two-factor authentication dapat when you click withdraw hihingi yan ng email address at hihingi yan ng ng uh, ng text message sa Pag walang ganung dalawa, I need right now guys after this show what I would like you to do is to change update your your account and make sure you have a two-factor authentication when you withdraw. Dapat when every time you withdraw you will be asked for an email address code, i-email sa inyo Binance yung code to proceed and then it text sa ini Binance yung code to proceed either way pag hindi nagtugma yung dalawang yun the withdrawal will not never happen okay that's that's the value of a two factor authentication in Binance okay the withdrawal will never happen so sino sa inyo dito ang may two factor authentication na sige nga i want to see show of hands sino sa inyo dito ang merong two factor authentication at this point please type number 1 Greetings kay Bern de la Cruz, bago daw nating subscriber. Thank you, thank you. Please like our show and subscribe to and share this channel to your friends. Huh? Okay? So yan, yeah, number one. Alright. Si B. Rix Trade. Sabi niya dito. Okay. So question ni Coach, sino sa inyo dito ang may two-factor authentication na? Please type number one nga. Alright. Merong Google Authenticator. Very good. Maganda yan. No? Google Authenticator. Pwede rin yan sa lahat. No? Sino pang merong other authentication dito? Alright. Si Lev, oy Levin, kamusta na? Kamusta dyan sa UK? Si Christopher, si Bob, very good. Si SC, si Riley, si Sean. Okay, good, good, good. Kailangan meron kayong two-factor authentication. Okay, ano pa yung pwedeng mangyari? Spamming, no? Spamming is another way, no? Spamming is another way. Mga humihingi ng sila daw ay prinsipe ng Nigeria. Guys, atandaan nyo, alam nyo ba yung mga sinaunang email? You're a prince of Africa. A princess of Nigeria. Alam nyo ba guys, sa totoo lang, you, you could do your research. Marami pa rin, marami pa rin naluloko yung email na yun. Yung Prince of Africa, Princess of Nigeria, marami pa din. Akala nila, they will be earning or they will be a recipient of a very, very large amount of money na hindi mailabas ng, ng monarch daw ng Africa because merong government. No? So merong spammer na ganyan. No, yung mga unang panahon, mayroon pa kang chain mail. Pag di mo raw pinasa, pag hindi mo raw binasa, no, yung mangyayari daw sa'yo masama. Yung mga sinauna, yung mga early 90s, ganyan pa yung mga sinaunang emails. No? So be, be mindful. You need to make sure when the email sounds suspicious, you need to activate your spammers. You need to activate your spam, your spam filter. No? If there is an email na lumabas sa iyong inbox, and ito ay uh, spammer pala. Click mo spam. Mark as spam. Okay, maraming ganyan guys. At tandaan nyo yan. Ha? Maraming mga Nigerian prince, prince na nagtatmapanggap. No? And some of them are just the uh, lazy, old, ugly uh, people sitting on their couch drinking beer. Ganun pala yun. No? Umingi lang ng pera sa'yo. Ingat-ingat po. No? Hindi po lahat prinsipe o prinsesa on spamming. Ano pa guys? Ano pa ang pwedeng mangyari, no? We have what you call your seed phrases, no? Sino po dito ang merong merong mga uh, trust wallet or other or MetaMask, no? Na hiningian ng kanilang seed phrase, no? Hiningian po ba kayo ng seed phrase? At sana po hindi niyo po sinave, no? Hindi niyo po sinave yang seed phrase na yan online. Kaya nga po ang seed phrase ay mga mga, mga words, no? Ito po ay ipiprint ninyo. Ipiprint po ninyo yung seed phrase na yan at yan po itata itatago po ninyo na hindi makikita online. Do not make that seed phrase online. You need to print or write that down and put it in front of your, you know, in your diary or something. No? Put it in your diary. Do not put it online. Kaya nga sa seed phrase. Sometimes it's 12, it's 24, it depends, no? And it's gonna be asked for you again 
ng random order. No? So, seed phrases is a very, very important you know, part of information security protection ng wallet mo. Alam nyo ba guys, statistically, almost 30%. 30% ng Bitcoin ngayon hindi na maa-access. Bakit? Kasi nawala na yung seed phrase. Nawala na yung token, nawala na yung password. No? Malaki, malaki, mar maraming nawala ng Bitcoin ngayon. Akala nyo 21, point, 21 million tapos 18 million na mimina na. Hindi lahat 18 million umiikot, guys. No, I I remember only 15 million bitcoins ang umiikot lang ngayon because 3 million cannot be accessed anymore. No? So you need to make sure you write down that seed phrase. Okay? Ano pang another one? Malware injecting device. Okay, pag binigyan kayo ng uh, pag binigyan kayo ng USB, wag kayong pasok ng pag kayong pasok ng pasok sa inyong mga device, no? Because that that um that um USB can infect your your computer. Alam mo guys, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm using Apple. I'm using iMac system. I have a MacBook Air. I have a MacBook Pro. I have a MacBook iMac. The whole, the big iMac. I have iPhone 12. Kompleto ako sa Apple, no? Alam nyo ba guys, ito ah, sasabihin ko sa inyo, my MacBook Pro before, okay, nagkaroon ng malware. And I was very surprised. Paano magkakaroon ng malware? And wala namang virus. Wala namang virus ang Mac. Wala namang inimbentong virus sa Apple systems. Apparently, kaya sa lalong lalo na sa mga browsers no ang inyong mga browsers hindi sila unique no si Safari lang ang unique kay Apple but if you start using Google or other browsers no pwede silang ma-infect ng mga malware extensions so be very very careful another one when you download when you download yung mga software na yan i-program niyo yung computer niyo not to accept downloads on any third party unless you really trust it Baka mag-automatic download yan, guys. Automatic download yan. No? And then, uh, ibang ibang system yung ma-download. Nakatago lang sa other URL. No? So, may mga, may mga tao na naghahanap ng legit, no? legit na passwords. Legit na passwords. Or legit na download of the particular um, software. Okay? What is the other one? Dangers of the public Wi-Fi. Sino dito mahilig mag-Wi-Fi sa Starbucks? Sinong mahilig mag-Wi-Fi sa Starbucks? Sino mahilig mag-Wi-Fi sa mga kapihan? Sinong mahilig mag-Wi-Fi sa free Wi-Fi ng SM? Sa free Wi-Fi ng Ayala? Sa free Wi-Fi ng Robinsons? Sino dito? Raise your, raise your hand. O sinong mahilig mag-Wi-Fi sa mga kapitbahay? Sino mga nagagalit pag may password protected yung password ng yung Wi-Fi ng kapitbahay? Sino mga ganyan nagagalit, no? ba? Hindi lahat pwedeng i-access careful. Lalo na guys, sa mga airport, naku, napakarami dyan, guys. Sa airport, naku, wag na wag ka magkukunik kung saan saan ang mga available Wi-Fi. Be very, 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 very careful. Right? Because yung mga yan, they have what they call packet sniffing. Pag nakuha niya yung mga packet na binabato ng iyong computer, okay? Malicious Wi-Fi hotspots, no? Okay? Kayang-kaya mo yan kunin. Kayang-kaya mong i-access yung mga folders niya. No? Kayang-kaya mong i-access yung mga folders niya. So you guys need to make sure that your passwords, okay, you don't just click on any Wi-Fi of your kapitbahay. No? Do not just go and, and look for your kapitbahay Wi-Fi. Okay? And then, of course, lastly, ang ating tunatawag na social media engineering, guys. Okay? What is that social media? Everything that I said is a social media engineering. Okay? But for example, I want to give you, no? for example, someone calls you, Hey, this is Coach Miranda Minor. Kamusta ka na? Kaboses ko. Kinari ko. Kinari kaboses ko. Oh, kamusta ka na? Okay. Hey, uh, alam mo ba, I need some help eh. Uh, I need to validate kung uh, okay na ba yung account natin, yung ating next na course, no? Uh, uh, can you validate ano ba yung Binance number na binigay mo? ba? Oh, do you, will you just give your Binance number? ba? Will you just give your Binance number? Okay, can you validate? Can you just confirm? Kasi sa system ko, hindi ko, ma hindi ko masyado mabasa yung password eh. Ano ba yung password na binigay mo? Can you just clarify for me? ba? So guys, hindi ganun. Hindi ganun. You need to make sure, right, that, you know, you need, kasi ang mga social engineers, no, gumagawa ng paraan yan para ibigay mo yung sagot. Ang mga nagkatrabaho sa call, sino po mga trabaho ng mga who, who among here are working in the contact center industry? Who, who among here are working in the uh, support uh, center industry? 
right? Di ba tinitrain kayo dyan how to make sure that hindi kayo ma- mag- magagamit ng mga social engineers? Kasi, for example, no? For example, merong tumatawag, for example, sa si PLDT. Oy, uh, you know, miss, miss Agent, nakalimutan ko kasi yung account number ko. Can you clarify for me? Can you clarify for me yung account number ko? And then, all of a sudden, the agent who, na hindi natitrain, magbibigay ng account number dun sa may, age, sa, may, sa may customer. Sa may customer. And then that customer will call again, Oy, alam mo ba yung password? Can, can you confirm ano po yung address ko dyan? Kasi ang alam ko lang account number ko, yung account number ko is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 eh. Pero yung account number na yun, hiningi niya yun sa may unang agent. Okay? And then, second agent, nakuha na ngayon niya, nakuha niya yung, de, ano, yung address. O, tatawag sa ulit. Can you confirm? Kasi sa address na to, meron akong account number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ang aking uh, date of, ang aking address is, for example, Pasig. At ako, ang date of birth ko ba dyan, hindi ko yata nailagay ng tama. Dapat, ano yan? Dapat uh, December 25, no? Can you confirm? Guys, wag ganun. That's actually a social engineering. That's a way to get your information. So be very, 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 very careful in terms of managing your information. So guys, sinabi ni Coach Miranda Miner, ha? we need to make sure we have our unique fish, anti-phishing unique word na kinonfigure nyo sa inyong Binance. You also have your two-factor authentication. You need to make sure you're reviewing your spam mails and tagging unnecessary emails as spam. You need to make sure you're printing your seed phrases, hindi tatago online. You need to make sure you don't just insert malware-injecting devices and do not just log in into, into a public Wi-Fi and make sure you are aware of the social engineering tips. Okay? Malino na, guys. That's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven reminders, no? We're not gonna be able to avoid this ransomware because this is actually a very, very sophisticated way, no? Sophisticated way of, uh, you know, held holding a particular sort of data. Uh, ang 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 nangyari kasi dito, guys, baliktad, no? Itong mga pinarecent nating information, all of this kasi is front end, front end kasi yan, front end potential infosec violation. Ang ginawa nila dito back end. Sa likod dumaan. Sa likod dumaan tong group na to, they went actually into a particular authentication bypass sa likod at naglagay sila ng fake update na pinush ng Kaseya sa none other than 60 customers and 1,500 business impacted. Right? So, that is a very, very important update that you guys are would need to know. Okay, understood guys? Okay, so yan ang ating tinatawag na ransomware. Tuloy na tayo sa ating next topic for today. Bukod sa ransomware, ano pa yung mga other information na kailangan mo malaman, no? Ayan. So, as of the latest news, sabi dito, the state of crypto, yes, we're still talking about regulatory clarity, no? So, regu- regulatory clarity, ibig sabihin, the subcommittee within the House Financial Services held a hearing wherein they actually discuss the volatility within the crypto markets, no? And they would like to understand if uh, there is a potential, you know, for them to do some regula- regulation. Regulation. Naalala niyo yung potential na regulation sa Philippines. Naalala niyo yun. Remember, from a Philippines perspective, meron ng potential cryptocurrency trading sa Pinas. Anong sabi ni Coach Miranda Minor? Pwedeng magkaroon ng tax. No? Of course, the narrative would always be kailangan ng clarity. Lagyan natin ng discussion. Ano ba ang pwedeng kontrolin? Pwede ba siyang kontrolin? No? It's still in a state of clarity. Maraming maraming pwedeng pumasok na uh, uri ng gobyerno. SEC, OCC, etc. etc. House Financial Services Committee. Maraming pwedeng pumasok na potential government institutions that, can, that would like to do regulation sa cryptocurrency. Alright? Let's move on. Okay. Uh, coach, kamusta naman ang trades natin? No? Kamusta naman ang ating trades for today? What do you guys think? Kayo ba nag-trades ba kayo today? Type number one kung nag-trade at kumita. Sige nga, I want to see show, show of hands. Kumita ba guys? Kumita ba sa mga trades today? I wanna see type one kung kumita. I wanna see. Okay. 
Let's see, let's see kung kumita. I wanna see show of hands. Kumita po ba kayo? Did you guys trade? Looks like no one traded, ah. May nag-trade ba sa inyo, guys? Okay. We'll see. All right. Anyways, no? So, Bitcoin actually is at 34,782. Uh, it's currently bullish, no? Bullish at uh, 0.52, seven days trend. Ethereum actually is also very, very bullish. Guys, I am forecasting Ethereum to be bullish. That's my forecast. Ethereum is going to be bullish because of the London hard fork update after the Berlin hard fork. And I'm telling you, kung wala pa kayong posisyon sa Ethereum and Cardano, my question is why? Okay, why? <coughs> okay, even Binance, no? Why why are all the altcoins bullish right now? Why do you think it's bullish? Why do we think it's actually going even higher? No? Except si Dogecoin. No? Why do we think XRP, why is Cardano, why is Binance, why why sorry, why is Binance coin? Why is Ethereum? Why are they bullish? Right? Why are they bullish? Because there's a reason why they're bullish. I'll tell you later. Okay? And of course, ang ating top 11 to 20 coins na assignment ng ating mga beginner class kanina, no? Guys, by the way, napakagaling ng mga beginner class natin at mga intermediate class natin. Greetings sa mga team abangers, team marketeer, team crypto north, at team power hodlers. <laughs> Greetings din sa team victory, team raccoon, team futures, and team halmachi. Ayan, so... Alright, medyo may pagka, uh, you know, medyo may pagka uh, bullish ang ating mga altcoins, no? May may bullish ang ating mga altcoins. So let's look into the charts. Okay, let's try to open the chart. Just give me a second, guys. I'm very very excited sa mga newbies natin, you know? Ang gagaling ng mga estudyante ko kanina and I'm very very proud marurunong na daw mag-trade tingnan natin sa assignment nila tingnan natin yung mga yan you know I think they're gonna be very very good so we'll see about that no all right teka lang let me just try to let me try to open the trades Actually, guys, to be honest with you, even the local stock markets and the and the Nasdaqs of the world, they're actually bullish, no? They're actually bullish. So PSEI is also bullish already, seven thousand points, no? Uh, which is going to be a very good indicator, no, of uh, of the bullishness of the market. Uh, just as you guys know, humahabul jan ng ano? Humahabul nag-align minsan ang cryptocurrency with the uh, with the stock market, nag-a-align yan, no? In fact, nung, uh, nung April 19 and April uh, 27, nang bumulusok yung crypto pababa, bumulusok din pababa si stocks. Pare-pares, nagbulusukan pababa yan mga yan, guys, no? So that's another information that you need to know. Okay, just give me a second, okay? Just give me a second. Okay, here. So if we click on BTC, and my students are aware of this already, alam na nila to. If you look into an indicator, okay, let's try to look for a BB50. And let's click on 50. Okay, let's click for this. All right. Potentially, guys, malapit na po ulit mag-break out itong formation na to. No, There is a potential for this particular formation to go break out. No, This is a good opportunity to wait because there is actually a formation of a long consolidation already. No, Matagal na tong hinog, matagal na tong consolidation na to. Matagal na and it's actually already ripe. So we'll see, no? Nagkakaroon tayo ng potential. It looks like, it looks like ang mangyayari dito, 
obviously you guys know the Wyckoff or the Wyckoff consolidation model. Okay? Diniscuss na natin yan before and we're actually forecasting. We are actually forecasting this particular formation. Let me just try to expand and remove the volume first. We're actually expecting this, no? So this one. This one can further go even higher. Okay, it can further go even higher like that. Okay, it can further go even higher like that as a formation. Okay, right? Or because of the potential breakout. All right, or we need, kailangan natin ng isang malaking, malaking, malaking. Green buying candle dito. Kailangan ko yan. No? And potentially, pwedeng mangyari tong green candle na to kapag binasag niya tong si BB50 pataas. Okay? Pag binasag niya si BB50 pataas, it can further go even higher. Okay? So, mga reasons, no? Reasons. Reasons. Okay. Number one, uh, ripe consolidation. Overdue breakout. Number two, your DeFi and NFT. Okay, NFT bullish trend. Number three, you have your um uh fad turn around you know china recycled issue you know um government control recycled issue and nothing new issue those are the major drivers for me this one is actually already ripe. This consolidation is already ripe. No? However, what is making it still consolidate is there is no major, there is no major reason yet for this to go for, further upwards. No? This one has no major reason to further go upwards. If you're my student, alam mo na yan, tinuro ko na yan, you know, trend resistance breakout, consolidation. Fib where the magic happens, you know, correction or pullback, support identification, consolidation. What will happen is either this one can further go up or this one can further go down. No? It can further go down. No, kailangan niya ng, ng confirmation. Kailangan ng multiple confirmation niyan larong yan. Pwedeng ganyan eh. Pwedeng ganyan yung laro niyan eh. Or pwedeng ganito. Pwedeng maging ganito yung laro niyan. No? Let's try to do another um polyline pairing this one this one pairing mauntog yan guys it can also go down after after mauntog magcorrect sa BB50 magco-correct sa BB50 it's a potential it can potentially happen Right? But I said, it would only break down below 28,000 if and only if there is a major there is a major negative issue, which I don't see anything. Maybe there's another potential driver. Ano yung mga potential catalyst natin? Right? Potential catalyst. Number one, the debate between Elon and Jack Dorsey. Right? Number two, liquid yuan. Discussions and Japan liquid yen. No, number three, uh, major pronouncements from the US. That could be your potential drivers. And of course, diniscuss na rin natin to. Merong malaking malaking grayscale discussion. Discussion and unlocking. 
right? Another one, there is a potential new country to embrace crypto. Hindi lang sila nagpupunta sa out sa public ngayon because pagkatapos i-announce ng El Salvador ang kanilang plano to embrace Bitcoin, no? Ano nangyari? What happened? Okay? Pinagalitan ng IMF. Pinagalitan ng IMF and they're now under scrutiny. So yung mga sumusunod na country na gustong umutang sa IMF, ayaw muna mag-pronounce that they're actually going to embrace crypto like, you know, Paraguay and other countries. And other countries, right? So, and by the way, guys, we also have our EMA. Remember the EMA conversation? Right? What are the two EMA? Sinabi natin, we have our EMA. You have your EMA 50. And then you have your EMA 200. Have your Emma 200. Right? So after this bearish cross, after this death cross, right? After this death cross, ano nangyari? What happened? Right? What happened here? After nang death cross na yan? Wala. Nag sideways lang. Diba? May pag sideways lang na nangyari. After ng death cross, right? Right? What happens after a death cross? Of course, magkakaroon ng golden cross. No? So, pag ito, this one actually goes up here, right? And then you see a very big bullish buying support here, a buying candle here. Right? And then you see your Emma, <clears throat> Emma 50 Nag-cross agad pa taas, tinusok si EMA 200. That could be the sign of this particular upward trend. It could be. It could be a sign of a further upward trend. Right? Does that make sense, everyone? Does, that, does this give you a different lens on things? Binibigyan ka ba ng ibang insight? Nai-excite ka na ba sa potential breakout or breakdown? ng Bitcoin. No, marami kasing pwedeng gawing maraming pwedeng gawing ano eh. Maraming pwedeng gawing uh, opportunity to to ano eh, to to trade here eh. Right? Maraming opportunity to trade. No? So we'll see. We will we will definitely see ano yung mga potential formations dito. Right? Ano yung mga potential formations? Alright guys, nalinawan ba? Meron bang natulong na konting paglinaw? No? Meron bang natulong na konting paglinaw sa iyo? No? Alright, and then puntahan natin muna si Ah, uh, teka lang no guys. So pinakita ko din to, no? Sa meron na tayong video na ginawa about this. Sana uh, papanoorin mo lang yung mga video ni coach at sa mga estudyante natin. No? Panoorin mo lang yung video niya kasi Meron na siyang pang-anim na profit. No? Meron na siyang $100 na pang-anim na profit dito. No, meron po siyang nakuha dito na pang-anim na profit. And uh, this is a very very good uh, play kasi this is our sixth. No, sixth play, play number six. Breakout, uh, bounce play. Plus, um, uh, BTC. Uh, we will further study that later. No, gawang ko ng paraan yan. Pang anim na pang anim na play. Tapos, wala po ako ng makitang potential entry. Okay, wala po ako makitang potential na entry. So ang ginawa ni coach, kasi nagantay ako dito ng correction. Nagantay ako ng correction sa sa point two three six. Nung naghahanap ako ng correction dyan, wala akong makita. Tsaka nagtuturo ako kanina eh. I was teaching, no? It looks like magkocorrect to. We'll see. We'll see kailangan ng confirmatory candles dyan. No? So ang ginawa ni Coach, nag-trade siya ng ibang coin. So nag-trade tayo ng ibang coin. Let me just make sure I save this first, no? Okay, nag-trade ako ng ibang coin. Ang ginawa natin is AXI, AXS, USDT. 
So we traded AXS, guys. Paano nyo may trade to? How are you going to trade this? Sige nga, sinong marunong mag-trade? Paano nyo trade to, guys? Can you give me an example? How do you trade this? How do you trade an all-time high? Hmm? How do you trade this? What are, what are the indicators? What are the indicators, guys? Can someone tell me? Potential indicators. No? So, tuturo ko sa inyo mabilis, ha? Tinuro ko na to doon sa video kanina. No? Tinuro ko sa video to kanina. Okay. We already have taught this. Sana na nakuha nyo to, ha? Sa mga estudyante ko. Okay? Alright. Because of this particular trade, tayo ay kumita ng Kano kinita ni coach dito? Kumita ako ng 140 100, almost 180 US dollars. Okay? Tapos yung pinakahuling trade natin, gumita tayo ng 40 dollars sa BTC trade natin. Pagkatapos ng trade niyan, hindi na ako nag-trade muna sa BTC. No? Wala na ako makita ng trade eh. So, kaka-trade ko lang yan kanina, June, July 7. So, today, magkano kinita ni Coach? Kumita ako ng... Uh, meron akong... Meron akong talo na $2 kanina eh. Natalo ko doon, nagkamali akong pindot. <laughs> Nag, ano, nagloko yung uh, pindutan ko. No? Habang nagtitrade tayo, nagtuturo. No? So, minus to. Magkano to? $40 plus $100. Magkano to? Mga, two, mga $210 ba to? $210 minus $2. Mga $208. Kumita tayo today. No, we earned um that, no? So, paano tayo kumita dyan, no? Uh, tinuro ko na yan. Tinuro ko na yan. Pero may paraan yan, no? May paraan. Of course, nagkaroon ng parabolic play, no? Natandaan ninyo, hindi pa to parabolic. No? If you look at the day trade, kakaparabolic pa lang niya. Ang parabolic RSI niya is only at 76. Naka-76 pa lang si parabolic play. Pwede pa ba itong pasukin? Yes. Pwede pa rin siyang pasukin. Kasi ang iyong weekly, ang iyong weekly parabolic play is only at 73. Naka-73 ka pa lang, no? so pwede pa yung tumaas. In fact, $15 na siya. No, $15. Pumasok ako dyan. Magkano pinasok ko dyan? No? Pinasok ko yan ng $11. Nag-take profit ako ng $13 sa futures. No? Pinasok ko yan, no? So, oh, coach, bakit ka pumasok dyan eh? Kasi nga parabolic play. Kasi nga parabolic play. ba? Parabolic play. Naka ano pa lang yan, no? Ayan, no? Kita mo dyan. Nag-parabolic play yan. Dito pa lang. 73. No? Magkano to? 9 pesos. Nag-parabolic play na yan ng 9 pesos. Bumili ako ng 9 pesos. Bumili ako ng 9 pesos dyan. Na spot trading. No? 9 pesos. Kasi nag-parabolic play na siya. Tapos si MACD, bullish. No? Parabolic play. Nag-78 sa candle na to. We're able to buy that on the sa spot market. Right? We're able to buy that on the spot market. So, aside from the futures trade, aside from this particular trade that we earned, 200 plus dollars, we also have earned, we also have earned plus uh, uh, dollars, uh, we also have earned, uh, what's this? Um, 100 dollars in spot. No? But of course, because we are seeing parabolic, sabi ko nga sa inyo, bakit ako, bakit ako bullish ngayon? Kasi sa Ethereum hard fork. No? Coach, ano bang pwedeng pasukin ngayon? No? Ano bang pwedeng pasukin ngayon, Coach? Kasi, sabi mo, bullish hard fork. Guys, ano bang diniscuss ko nung isang araw? Ethereum, di ba? 
Di ba guys, Ethereum? Napanood nyo ba yung show ko na Ethereum trading na hard fork? Napanood nyo ba yon? No? Napanood nyo yung, kung napanood nyo yung Ethereum hard fork na yun, hindi sana, no? Pinasok nyo na din agad siya. No? Pinasok nyo na din agad siya. Kasi mag maganda ang potential din, aside from, syempre, ang dami ko na, madami na tayong kinita sa BTC. Di, sa ibang coins naman tayo, like ito, itong si, eh, ano, Axie. Diba? O. Oh. Diba? O. Oh. Tumita ka dyan eh. Kasi nabreak niya itong, nabreak niya itong uh, resistance na to eh. May binasag na resistance. Eh. Ayan o. Oh. O. Oh. Nagkaroon ng, ng uh, breakout, nag-consolidate, consolidate. Sa mga estudyante ko, alam niyo to ha. All-time high resistance. All-time high multi-year resistance is always the best to enter. Ayan, bumasag ulit dito ng resistance, yung unang resistance na yon. Ano nangyari? Ano nangyari? Lumipad, guys. Lumipad ang presyo ng all-time high na coin. 32%. O, ngayon mo sabihin sa akin, hindi effective yung all-time high feast breakout play. ba? Diba? Ngayon mo sabihin, effective siya. Kailangan mo lang malaman paano mo lalaruin yung mga all-time high play na yan. Paano mo lalaruin? You need to know how to enter an all-time high play. Kasi dyan ang malakas magpayaman. ba? Diba? Malakas magpayaman. No? Eh sayang nga si coach, eh, nag-take profit. Eh syempre, yun ang plano ko. Saan ka ba kukuha ng $200? Sige nga. Saan ka kukuha ng $200 for today? ba? Diba? Ang maganda dito, ang maganda dyan, meron pa tayong Bit, meron pa tayong uh, aksi na binili sa 9 pesos. Eh, magkano na yun? ba diba? 16 pesos na, o. Oh. Oh, eh, di kasi matagal yung, matagal pa yung, uh, mag-represent na pala kami sa mga investors ko, ah. Mag-represent na kami ng investor team ng, uh, thank you again to moderators Joyce and to moderator Nico. Thank you, guys. Inabot kami ng alas 12 pasado na kahapon, nire-review namin yung presentations nila. So thank you sa inyong dalawa, no? I'm very, habang nag-aantay ako sa inyo, nagtitrade na ako ng, ano, ng aksi kasi alam ko tataas yan, eh. <laughs> no, kamita din tayo kahit papana dyan. No? And of course, tingnan mo din yung potential entry ng kung meron kang nakikitang hard fork at mga major development, nakikita mo na gaganda yung mga gas fees, hindi eh, pasukin mo na si Ethereum, no? Of course, trade at your own risk. Nababasa mo yan dyan sa baba. Trade at your own risk, guys. No? Tama yung mga sumagot. Tama si Apple. Tama si Julan. Si Apple. Si Mike. Tama yung sagot nila. Entry 72. Exit 7677. Magagaling na sagot, mga estudyante. Tama yung mga sagot ninyo, guys. Tama, tama. Very good. Alam nyo na, no? Sana nasakyan nyo yan. Sana napasok nyo yan, no? Para masaya tayo. Kasi syempre mataas yan, no? Pag ganitong wala siyang ilalim. Tuturuan kita, ha? Tuturuan kita. Pag ganitong wala siyang ilalim, wala siyang nakikita kang bubong, paano mo lalaruin to? Okay. Katandaan mo to guys, ha? tuturo ko lang to dito. Itong daily, pupunta ka sa daily. Daily, okay. Kapag ang RSI mo 76, pwede pa yan. Okay, pwede pa yan, okay. Pag yan nag-80, pag nag-80 na yan, okay, tulay ko yung rule, ha? Pag ito nag-80 na, daily chart, 80. Okay? RSI 30. But the weekly chart is still not 80. Then, go but control. If the daily chart is above 80 and the weekly chart is above 80 RSI, sell on site. Nakita mo pa lang ibenta mo na. Nakita mo pa lang you need to sell that breaking point. So in this particular case, pwede pa tong laruin, pwede pa tong laruin. Kasi may pumalo pa dito na 86 oh. 'Di ba? Pumalo na 86. Pero dito 75, 7 pwede pa to. Pwedeng pwede pa to. No? And then go to the weekly. Let's go to the weekly. Medyo mataas na si weekly. Ah. Tandaan nyo. Si weekly naka ano na? Ano nang score nito? Naka 
73 na si Weekly. So, ingat-ingat. Ingat-ingat kung mag-80 na yan, sell on-site. Para, ang, tawag dyan, ang tawag mo na dyan is parabolic burst. Parabolic burst is the situation where the parabol, parabolic play is going to go down. Okay? I hope you're able to learn there, ah. Huh? Okay? Potential yan. And guys, guys, again, we're teaching you technical charting, pero tandaan mo ang emotions. Ang emotions, wag mafofo mo. No, merong paraan bago pasukin niya mga ganyang klaseng trade. Wag mafofo, wag mo fear of missing out. Yes, malaki yung nakikita na kita, pero hindi nyo alam, tanong nyo sa mga estudyante ko, gaano kami kahaba nag-naked charting kanina? Sa mga estudyante ko, sige nga, gaano kahaba ang oras ng naked charting? Ilang ilang minuto kayo inaabot mag-chart? Sa mga naging estudyante ko, ilang minuto kayo gagawa ng chart? Sige nga. How many minutes? Ang tagal, di ba? Oh, start with zoom out in the zoom out. Di ba? Look for the major resistance and major support. Di ba? Ang 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 haba ng proseso. You need it takes time for you to be able to chart your trades. So, itong mga trades na to, hindi ito madadali. No, ito'y pinag-aaralan at maayos na entry dapat. Right? Ayos na entry dapat. Matagal mag-plan ng trades. Sobrang tagal mag-plano. And, be, and if because you plan your trades, maganda yung profit mo. The profit is really, really good. Okay? The profit is really, really good. Because it takes time. Akala mo ba, inibento ko lang lahat yan? Hindi. Matagal yan, guys. Matagal ka maghahanap ng proper trade setups. Matagal yan. Pinaplano yan, guys. It's being planned. It's being planned. No? And and you need to make sure na i-planuhin mo. And by the way, isa pa pala, no? paalala ko, ha? paalala ko. You need to plan your trade, pero parang awa mo na, you need to trade your plan. You need to trade your plan. No? Ikaw, kailangan i-trade mo yung plan mo. Hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng, ikaw ay nag, ano lang, nag, uh, nag, uh, you're only, uh, ch you're changing your mind halfway. No? You're changing your mind halfway. Guys, hindi, sino mga ganun? Sino yung mga ganun nagpa-plano ng trades tapos, Execution na nagbabago ng trade. Sino mga ganyan? Tamaan na, sige nga. Raise your hand. Di ba? Magkaaminan tayo. Sino sa inyo yung mga nagpaplano ng trades? Okay? Pero pag nag-execute na, wala na. Oy, Jolo, thanks for joining. Ha? Nakatakay yung pangalan mo. Sino sa inyo dito yung nagpaplano ng trade? Okay? Pero hindi ini-execute ang trade. Sino yun? Wala, guys. Walang sumasagot. <laughs> no, maraming ganyan guys, no? Maraming ganyan and you could never trust your system. You could never trust your system. You know, if um if you're not doing it. If you're not doing it. So you need to trust the system. You need to do it. You need to do it. Anyways, guys, um in the next couple of uh, minutes announcements lang muna tayo. Marami pong announcements si coach. Wait lang po. Unang-una, congratulations po sa atin because we already have we already have 19,000 subscribers. Woohoo! 19,000 subscribers in our YouTube page. Maraming 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 salamat po sa inyo. Okay? And guys, I would like to let you know as well that we are actually invited to talk and give uh you know um some inspir siguro inspirational conversations and sort of a seminar no sa isang malaking malaking organization maraming maraming salamat po sa if you're listening i will actually mention the name when it's already official i would like to say thank you guys and invite po tayo na magsalita sa isang malaking malaking organization somewhere in the south we're doing it online as well and guys i'm really really thankful maraming maraming salamat po sa pagtitiwala Thank you guys no kasi you know I'm very happy sabi po ang sabi po niya doon kung babasahin uh, if you guys will allow me to read no yung sabi po ng nag-invite sa atin 
Sabi po dito sa akin nang nag-invite, sabi po niya ay, teka lang po. Sabi po niya, thank you, I've been your follower, I saw your heart, and I would like to help the teachers be empowered to find other ways to earn money. Is it okay po if we go live? Ganyan-ganyan, sabi niya dito, no? So, I'm very, very happy po kasi it's a very, very big organization and we're going to teach the uh, the educators for free, no? So, maraming maraming salamat po, guys. Kung kayo po ay uh, may kakilala ng mga organizations na pwede po nating tulungan free, free po yan, I will give a free talk, no? I will give a free talk um, sa mga... Kahit saan po na pwede tayong i-invite, no? Nung una po ay nag, nag, nagsalita tayo sa napakaraming uh, college students in the Philippines. Sa PUP, sa RTU, sa uh, Colegio de Montalban, sa STI. Lahat po sila nag, nagsalita po tayo. And then now we're actually invited sa isang malak, mas malaking organization. So I'm super, super thankful po, no? Super thankful po tayo na tayo po ay in-invite uh, sa isang malaking organization south of Manila. No? South of Manila. Uh, isa pong city dyan, and we're gonna be very happy to give any free uh, education para po sa ating mga educators. Yan. Alright, so guys, um, if you know anyone that the Coach Miranda Minor could show more of our love, our passion, what we know, we could actually talk about cryptocurrency, talk about stock market, talk about you know financial awareness and planning. No? Tayo po ay isang reg registered financial advisor. Um, and we could give, you know, even life coaching. Kung gusto nyo na life coaching, sabihin nyo lang sa akin. We're gonna be able to give that to you. Because after all, we're not only teaching crypto. We're also teaching traders quotient. We're also teaching behaviors. We're also teaching disciplines. Okay? So we're very, very happy with that. And again, sabi ko nga, maraming salamat sa ating, um, you know, 19,000 subscribers. Sobrang dami na po natin. At maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Teka lang po, I'll just get something here lang before tayo mag-proceed. Malapit na daw ang 25K face reveal. <laughs> ah, malapit na siguro. Ay, salamat din sa mga moderators natin no? because they've been the ones really helping us, guys. No? Palakpakan naman natin ng ating mga moderators, guys. Lahat sila, napakasisipag niyan. No? They're very, very um, uh, in hard working, no? Very, very hard working. So, salamatan natin sila. Ayan. So, I would like to show this. Yeah, 19,000 subscribers, guys. Salamat. <laughs> salamat, salamat, salamat po ang sa inyong pagmamahal sa ating show. No? And then, wag yung kakalimutan din. Meron tayong show on Saturday, no? Meron tayong Crypto Night Live. We're gonna be interviewing. Meron tayong isang stateside na i-interview, no? From the US. Isang Filipino-American um uh, uh guest on Saturday kasama ng ating one and only mod one and only moderator si Judex. Dalawa po silang kakausapin natin is based from Maryland din yan, no? USA. So we're going to be talking to them. We're going to be talking about ang tinatawag nating uh crypto hodler, no? Ano ba ang mga crypto hodler uh perspective? Ano ba yung mga iniisip ng mga true blue crypto hodler? Mga matatagal na yan. 2015 pa, no? matatagal na sila nag-handle ng Bitcoin. And bakit sila crypto hodlers? Why do they hodl? Why do they really believe on crypto or Bitcoin? So panoorin natin yan guys. No, it's gonna be a very very good information for you para makuha mo din yung mindset nila na ba't sila naging ano? Why, why are they sort, sort of what we call a Bitcoin maximus? Bakit talaga sila nag-hodl? You know? So panoorin natin yan, okay? So yan, so again, congratulations, 19,000. Maraming, 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 maraming salamat sa inyo guys na sa pagtitiwala ninyo, tayo po ay magti 3 months na by July 15. No? 3 months na tayo in July 15 at I am confident na hahabol tayo sa 20K level. Ayan, 20K level. Salamat din sa ating mga... Ano, Sa ating mga testimonies, yun mga testimonies natin. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyo for giving me a chance to get your feedback sa ating system. no Sa ating system. I'm very, very thankful na you're showing to me yung mga working testimonies ninyo na really, really profitable. Marami na po kung hindi na po post. Ang dami-dami nyo po. Salamat po sa mga private messages ninyo. And then, marami na po tayong nilabas. For example, this one as well, no? Yo, this one, congratulations. This is from Alfie. Congratulations, Alfie. 
Congratulations. Napakagandang July 6 na pabungad sa akin to ng umaga. Napaka-parabolic and uh, feast with MACD crossover na. Congra- and what I like about this is you actually have your values, you know, your behavior. So maganda yan. Good job, good job, good job. No? All right. So guys, uh, that's in it for me today. It's 11.02. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa 19,000 subscribers na na patuloy na nakikinig at nagtitiwala kay Coach Miranda. Sa Team Miranda Miners, hindi lang kay Coach Miranda Miner because we are a brand. We are a team already. No, We are a team composed of almost 20 more than, no? 20 more than strong moderators and family and almost 20,000. Sasabihin ko ng 20,000 plus yan kasi 19,000 in, in YouTube. Okay? Meron na tayong 2,500 in TikTok. Meron na tayong 1,000 plus in, in Twitter. Meron na tayong 5,000 plus in Discord. At meron na tayong 9,700 in Facebook groups. Grabe! Nakaka-proud kayo guys. And again, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo no? at sa pagtitiwala nyo kay sa Team Miranda Minor Global Brand. Okay, sa aking mga moderators guys, salamat sa lahat sa inyo ha. Uh, uh, I cannot name all of you but maraming maraming salamat sa uh, pagmamahal. Teka lang guys, no? Why don't I mention all of them? Iisa-isahin ko sila. Wait lang ha. I will try to mention all of them. Okay, kala nyo ha. Hindi ko kayang sabihin mga pangalan nyo. Okay. Of course, si Joms, si Joms, si Nico, si Jen, you know, si Daniel, si John, Rase, si Bernadette, si Choyan, si Charles, si Dolly, si Miss D, si Yael, si Gab, si Cass, si Ziljan, si Aaron, si Judex, si Richard, si Mayor, si Goma, si Nida, si Milka, si, si Joyce, si Galamak, si Marian Joy ng Italy, si Luke, si Chrishell, si Mike, si Brian, si Beth, ba? Si Boss said sa, ano, sa Discord, ang dami, 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 and all of you guys are just really an awesome team. So, you know, if I don't say thank you to you every day, if I don't say thank you to all of you, um uh, I want you to know that I appreciate you really really so much, no? Maraming maraming salamat at uh, I know lahat tayo magkakasama. All of us are gonna be together on this. Okay? All of us are together on this and um thank you for all that you do for the Miranda Minor brand, okay? Okay, guys, maraming salamat for this one and I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow and thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.